Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you doing? Hope you're doing great. Please check out the nice beautiful square description box with all the nice beautiful links to Discord, Twitter, support page, all that stuff. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content, okay? Uh, and yeah, so let's just keep going. Last video I did a little dum-dum where I actually, that well, wasn't really a dum-dum, it's, it's more that, you know, what can you say? Um, I created the movement component, and I could have done things a little better because I, I make I want to make sure that a movement component is is dependent on a sprite. Okay, so I'm gonna create a SF sprite pointer sprite. Okay, which will directly affect our sprite for our entity. So we have our little sprite here, and you have to have a sprite in order to, um, in order to, in order to, in order to work with this. And to make sure we can do that, I'm gonna do a SF sprite reference sprite here, and that's because you can't send in null to a reference. You have to reference something. All right. That's basically what I want to do. And we could we could be cool and we could actually use a sprite sprite and then max velocity max velocity. We could do that just to um, have this work for us. With this beautiful, beautiful, what do you call it? The, 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 uh, you know what I mean. You know, the, the, uh, the, the, the damn thing, the thing. Uh, I, I can't, I can't remember the name of this. What is this? What is this? What is this? Please help me out, guys. You know what I'm going to do as well? I'm going to go into the H file and I want to actually turn this into a reference directly. You know what? Boom. You'll be forced to have a reference in here. You have to initialize references. Initializer list. God damn it. God damn it. Thank you. Whoever told me, thank you so much. So we use that. We got the sprite. Let me think. Let me think. Okay. Boom. So now we have to have a sprite. Now it's going to crash. Hopefully it'll tell me where I missed it. Right here. In entity.cpp. So I need to actually send the, the sprite. Uh, no. Um, boom. Okay. Okay, so that means that we actually need a sprite for the entity. Let's open entity.h, guys, because we need to clean this shit up. We need to clean this shit up. So we have a sprite pointer. We have a sprite pointer. Hmm. So you need to create the sprite first, and then you can create the movement component, which is dependent on the sprite. So there has to be a sprite present. If there isn't, you're kind of rip. Um, and for that, we would, what we could do is we could force a sprite onto the entity. All right. We force the sprite, and instead of new sprite, we're just going to do um, ba, 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 ba. this sprite. Okay, okay, okay. One step at a time. All right, one step at a time, guys. So we force the sprite. Any Every entity has to have a sprite. That means we're going to have to change the name of this function from create sprite to set texture. All right, we're just going to call it set texture. Bear with me here set texture and what that does is it actually sets gives the sprite a texture um, this sprite dot set texture uh, texture okay and here as well I'm gonna force the texture I'm gonna force it so going to entity entity dot h force the texture as a reference here and force it in as a reference here. That means we cannot send in a null 
in here, okay? We can't send in a null. And we don't have to delete the sprite anymore, because we're good. Uh, use the address operator here, just to keep a pointer of the texture. Or like we did before, you could actually use a reference for the texture here, and just, um, actually no, you probably can't, probably can't. Uh, we'll keep it. We'll keep a pointer to the texture, like this. No, what, what did I just do? So sorry, so sorry, guys. There you go. Okay, now we're good. So we force the texture. Uh, kind of. Yeah, we force the texture, and we set the texture. And it's a little more safe. And then we keep a pointer to the texture. So we kind of have to trust ourselves that we're doing the doing the right thing. So now every movement component guaranteed has a sprite then i'm just going to send in this sprite in here uh, with the movement component and then setting the position won't be any problems anymore this sprite dot set position all right we're just going to clean everything up uh, and if we have a movement component then we'll be able to move everything around and we're just gonna X control X that okay just control X the bottom part use their X their Y and then just send in DT in there and now we go ahead and we're gonna clean up some more stuff uh, remove this um, draw this sprite okay so render is cleaned up there you go now we go into movement component okay sorry about that guys there we go so we're going to movement component.cpp. We have the move function here where we set the velocity. And then we're going to say this sprite dot move um, velocity. This velocity multiplied by dt. And that means we're going to have to send in const float dt into this function. Also in the movement component.h file. See how much small shit you gotta do? You gotta do all this small crap to fix some problems. But this this should be a little better. So we're gonna do everything in the in the one function instead of having to do all that other crap. Um so there you go, pretty much. We can set the position outside, it's fine, but movement is a whole nother thing. Movement is gonna is gonna require all this beautiful kind of uh acceleration everything so there you go we're gonna go back into player.h now we got to clean up the creation of the sprite uh, set texture to a uh, no dereferenced actually set texture to a dereferenced texture or we can do the reference here as well in player so we'll do the whole reference thing right in there that forces us to give it a texture so we don't get any errors and then we'll just send that texture in perfect perfect just put player.h right here and that means now all we have left to do is game state fixing game state wherever we created the player right here okay so I just have to send in the actual texture. So no more pointers here. No more real pointers. Uh, which is nice. Which is really, really nice. There we go. Okay, so I have... The only place I have a texture pointer is an entity right there. I can remove this sprite equals null. I'll keep that and that. Okay. Okay, guys and girls, let's just try this. Let's see if we clean everything up like we should have. And then we're going to start working with, with acceleration. Now once this component system is kind of working, hopefully. Yeah, it's still working. Okay, so we got the texture. Everything's fine. Everything is nice. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Um, yes, 
Yes, one last thing before I leave you. You know what we could do? You know what we could do? Uh, we could actually remove the texture here, the pointer to it, because we might not need it actually. We might not need that since the sprite will keep track of the texture anyway, and then we'll lose one extra pointer to keep track of, and we won't have to deal with that. Pretty much, we won't have to deal with that. Let me just run this one one last time. And then we, we will consider the cleanup complete. Cleanup should be complete. New game, yep, okay. Everything's working, everything's fine. All right, guys, sorry about these two videos, these two last videos about all this cleanup, but we need to kind of make sure everything is working like we want it to before we get into making the movement component nice and beautiful but I promise in the next video I really really promise we'll start off working with the acceleration and the the nice smooth kind of movement that you expect from games right a really nice um, just fluid physics so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go ahead and make some animation component and animation system all that stuff and then we're gonna have a sprite sheet and I think we're gonna do a little bit of that stuff then we're gonna go back into the GUI setting making the button nicer, um, creating the editor state, because we're probably going to need an editor to create our first map and all that stuff before we can actually start playing the game, make it feel like a game and everything, handle collision and all that. So we'll get into that. But I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to kind of jump around between these topics a little bit so it doesn't get too boring. Uh, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Sorry about these boring kind of-ish videos, uh, but still, you guys are still watching. I really appreciate it. Um, keep working hard. If you have any questions, ask me on Discord, all that stuff. Check out the description box, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.